Mark Brooks and welcome to my channel. Tonight's a cooking video. I'll be uh, cooking uh, oven uh, baked uh, teriyaki salmon. The salmon will be uh, oven baked in a uh, small roasting tin. Cover put on and the uh, salmon covered with teriyaki sauce for uh, 18 minutes. And the vegetables. Yeah, I mentioned vegetables. They'll, they'll be uh, slow cooked in a slow cooker. Start off with uh, a <clears throat> pinto, bean, pinto beans to be, let it be soaked overnight. Add in a sliced potato, and then later in the day we'll add the vegetables. Here I'm going to uh, measure out and rinse a half cup of pinto beans. And rinse that next. Already rinsed and placed into the uh, slow cooker. And you may notice this uh, liner I have in the crock pocket. It's a slow cook cook liner, which uh, they're very, they're very uh, useful to have. Helps. Minimize cleaning up. All you do is take it back, take it out. You don't have to clean your slow cooker, saving the trouble of cleaning it. And we're going to allow these uh, pinto beans to soak in water for overnight. Go ahead and add some water in here. There. Put that on again. Soak overnight. Takes the salmon. Frozen it needs to be defrosted overnight. Take that from the freezer, we'll place this in the refrigerator, let it slow thaw overnight. And then tomorrow in the morning, we'll uh, peel a potato, sli peel a slice of potato, which we we'll place in a pot. We'll get, the, we'll get that started cooking, and then later in the day, we'll add the vegetables. At the same time, we'll go ahead and start roasting oven baking the salmon. I'll be, that'll be next. Yes, yeah, so the next day's morning, and now the pinto beans have soaked. Or they're ready to uh, you know, add in some uh, teriyaki marinade to add flavor to it. I'm adding about a quarter cup, maybe a little less. That'd be enough. And yeah, I'm adding about uh, two tablespoons of uh, French red hell hot sauce for some hot flavor. Mix that in. The next I'll be uh, I will uh, peel and slice this potato. Potato now uh, uh, peeled and sliced, put into the cooker. Then we're going to turn it on a uh, low heat down here. Low heat, because this, this uh, pot has a uh, three temperature settings low, high, and keep warm. Very useful and very versatile, so you have the versatility you need to do the cooking you're doing. It will allow that to cook for about uh, six hours. We'll then add in the other vegetables. Now it's been at least six hours since the potatoes and beans have been cooking, so now they're very tender. It's time to add the uh, other vegetables. It's a mix of uh, asparagus, carrots, uh, bell pepper, and uh, portobello mushrooms. That should be added in. Yeah, the reason I had these vegetables later is because I don't want to fully cook them. I want to short, short uh, time cook them so to preserve the vitamins and enzymes that to get lost when you overcook or cook for a long time. It also helps preserve the color of the uh, vegetables at, as well. I'm also adding some uh, grated cheese, extra sharp cheddar. Make the vegetables very, very tasty. And the next step will be to uh, 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 oven bake the uh, salmon, which will be done in this uh, small uh, roasting pan, covered with teriyaki sauce with the oven uh, preheated to uh, 450 degrees. So that's the next step, is get the fish out and put it in. Okay, here I've added some, uh, some teriyaki sauce to the uh, pan teriyaki sauce with uh, pumpkin apple juice added. 
Here's the thawed salmon going in. And we'll uh, coat the uh, salmon completely with a uh, teriyaki uh, sauce. And then next we'll uh, put the uh, cover on and bend the ends of the tin to secure that lid on. And next we'll go into the oven. And we'll uh, bake it for uh, 18 minutes. Set this timer for 18. And go ahead and start it. Yeah, five more seconds and time is up after 18 minutes. So, and the time to take the uh, salmon out of the oven. There it is, a well done salmon, ready to serve. Next thing is to take the uh, vegetables out of the uh, pot and uh, put it on the plate. Well done, that cheese is well melted. I was adding those uh, green vegetables later on keeps their color, keeps them fresh looking. That color gets lost when you uh, long-term cook vegetables, like I did with the potatoes and lentil beans. And we'll be placing the salmon directly on top of this. Okay, taking the salmon out of the gun uh, here. It'll be ready to eat. Just look at this. How appetizing. Just add some ground pepper to the salmon. We'll go ahead and taste it. See what it tastes like. Very tender. A little bit of flavor. Hmm. It's so hard to bake. It's so hard to vegetables. Well, this concludes the video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and hope you even give it a try. Well, uh, following what I did. So enjoy, enjoy what you make and thanks for watching and please subscribe.